All right, a lot of questions have come up about finding low voltage shorts because they can be really difficult to deal with. Um, you know, if you've got thermostat wire going, you know, from an air handler to a thermostat and then to an outdoor unit and it's going in walls and through attics and all that kind of stuff, it can just be really difficult to pinpoint where you've got a short. So there's been a lot of questions about, you know, how do you find a short circuit? So I just wanted to go over a few tips for finding them. Um, first of all, uh, you don't want to touch anything. Just don't go moving wires and, and pulling on wires. Just leave everything alone um, because if you bump a wiring harness or you um, you know tug on a thermostat wire, that short might go away for a week or two but then it'll be back and so you'll be back out there trying to hunt it down again so mostly I like to either start at the thermostat or at the air handler and just disturb as little as possible so anyways I've got a, a low voltage short here so let me kind of explain what's going on. Um, it's not as complicated as, or you know, it's it's kind of messy, but I think once I explain it, it'll it'll make a lot more sense. So I've got um, so instead of a transformer, I, I I just have this circuit hooked up to my variac, see, you know, 24 volts, and um, I'm just sending that out to. I, I got my um, clamps here holding the wires but if you can think of this as kind of like the transformer in the air hand this is where power starts okay right right here and then we've got uh, you know the typical kind of splices that you would see inside an air handler so just um, you know junctions there and then we have it going out to the outdoor unit and that's where I'm going to create the uh, short so we're going to see how you would pinpoint that um, using uh, a, a few different things. So anyways, um, let me get you set up here and um, we'll look at this. So first of all, what you should know about a low voltage short is that um, if it's a dead short on a typical transformer, it's going to be uh, pulling about 9 amps. So you don't want to let that happen for very long like if I um, if I dead short this of course I've I've got it current limited through that bulb right there but you can see um, we're getting some pretty heavy-duty current so I'm not gonna do that for very long but um, anyways so uh, what I'm gonna do is show you a little device that will really help with your troubleshooting We'll put it in the circuit and then I'll show you how it works. Okay, so so if if you've ever used those um, little fuses, I think it's called like a little popper or whatever, uh, the hook in the circuit to limit the current. The problem with that is that circuit breaker will trip you know within a couple seconds and you're not able to really tell where the short is so what I've made here this is two power resistors uh, see they're in series so uh, both of them are 20 ohms and together it makes 40 uh, and I put these together and soldered some leads on them uh, with some spades because typically you can take your fuse out either off the board or where it's coming off the transformer and just put this in place but what we want to do is put this in series with the um, with the power out of the transformer so it's going to limit the current and it's going to allow us to have time to pinpoint this short without the transformer bur burning up or that little circuit breaker tripping um, uh, now this this does you know that there it's amazing how hot you can get something with 24 volts so keep in mind you know if you make this do it at your own risk but this thing will get uh, hot if it's been on there for 
you know, uh, 10 or 15 minutes. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I've got, I've got power, you know, uh, pretend this is a transformer coming out of the transformer. And I, I'm connecting this in series. So we're putting um, one leg of it to the transport transformer power output and then the other one's going to go to the power that goes out to the unit okay, just like that now um, so I've got a short and I'm at the air handler now obviously I've already said it's at the outdoor unit and obviously you can see it right there but just you know obviously pretend like you don't know where it is at this point so you're gonna go to your wiring bunch here and you're gonna start to uh, or um, use your amp clamp to see where you've got current and I don't know if that's showing up. Yeah, I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up or not. But anyways, I've got zero. I'm going around the green. I've got zero. I go around the yellow, and all of a sudden I've got 600 milliamps. Yeah, again, I don't know if that screen's going to be visible or not. I can try this light. So anyways, now a lot of times in an air handler, you're going to have, um, you know, you might have um, yellow to the thermostat and yellow to the outdoor unit. So you can clamp around the yellow to the thermostat and see if the short is down there. Or you can clamp on the yellow to the unit and see if the short is over there. But uh, basically you're just going through your wiring bundle and checking different wires so I do have um, also amperage on the common because my short is between yellow and common so that makes sense um, if the short was between yellow and say the case of the unit I'm, on, I'm not going to have um, uh, uh, voltage on that common necessarily so anyways this just gives you a nice way of seeing where your current is going and so you can start to focus on that particular wire or that particular area so for example if um, if the short would have been in the reversing valve I'll just change this real quick I would have clamped around yellow and had no amperage and then here I clamp around the orange and I see that I've got um, amperage on the orange so I know that it's either somewhere in the wire to the outdoor unit or most likely it's in the outdoor unit typically if I'm just doing a visual inspection first uh, you want to look at areas that get hot and vibrate so Typically that's going to be on your outdoor unit, it's going to be around, um, you know, uh, discharge lines and, and, and things near the compressor. Look, look at the pressure switch wires, those will drape down onto pipes and wear through over time. Um, and, uh, you know, if, if it's in a wall or something like that and it just showed up you might want to look and see if a homeowner has hung a picture or something has happened somebody was putting up siding or something like that you might be able to to find uh, what what pierced the thermostat wire so anyways um, hopefully that wasn't too messy with all the wires and everything but I think um, I think it should make sense all you're doing is you're limiting the current if you don't want to um, if you don't want to make this thing it's getting pretty hot at this point I can still hold it but it's it's warm like a um, like a cup of coffee almost so um, you gotta watch out for that you can um, use a light bulb um, even if it's a hundred and twenty 
volt light bulb uh, you still can use it so I think um, let's see well uh, hang on a second um, So here's a 300 watt light bulb that is 120 volts, but I can still probably take it and put it in series here with the current or the transformer. Okay, so you can see it's barely glowing. It's 300 watts, so you know it's it's low resistance. And so uh, 24 volts, you know, has a, has a chance of going through it and creating a little current. I'm at uh, 1 amp now, or 0.9, something like that. So this is another way to do it. I, I, I just have it um, going into a socket, like an outlet type socket, and just got some jumpers off of it. So if you don't want to make the power resistor thing you can you can get away with this again this will get pretty hot so be careful with it um, so if I go around that uh, reversing valve wire you can see I've got about an amp there so an, another way to do it but anyways I've, I've just found um, I've found this kind of thing extremely helpful in hunting down shorts, and um, I actually, you know, um, mentioned it to somebody to see if they wanted to try to um, get it out there and in the supply house so people can just buy it. But they they didn't seem uh, too interested. I won't I won't mention the company name, but um, I I was a little surprised at that because man, this is um, super handy. But anyways, I just figured I would throw it out there and. Um, you guys can just make your own um, and uh, luckily that's not too hard to do. Alright, well, hope that helps.